On this week's boiler tip, we're going to talk about high, low pressure condensate and why we need to keep them separated, where they come from, etc. Um, here we've got a kettle application, and our kettle's generating condensate by boiling liquid. Today it's mop water. Um, because that kettle uses most of the energy of the steam, we don't have 50 pounds of steam pressure to push that back to our condensate return system. So we're going to use a vented receiver. And the vented receiver then is going to gather that condensate and then pump it back to our deaerator. And that's referred to as low pressure condensate. And the reason is because it goes down to 212 degrees when it goes into the vented receiver and then we pump it. The pressure we pump it at is irrelevant. It's the, where the condensate comes from that determines whether this is high or low pressure condensate. So here we've got a high pressure condensate line. It's different because this is coming off a drip leg from the high pressure steam system. So we could have 50, 75, 200 PSI of force on the inlet of that trap that that's all the energy we need to push that condensate back to the deaerator a pretty long distance. So we've got to keep these condensates separate because basically the temperature difference. If we've got water in here that's at 212 degrees or it could be much cooler because if that receiver is set there for a while until the pump cycles on, it could be ambient temperature. So if we've got high pressure condensate going into this line, we're going to have enough of a pressure and temperature difference that high pressure condensate is going to flash into steam and then the cool condensate is going to absorb that heat. So we'll get a hammer pretty consistently if we've got them tied together. Secondly, that pump may not be able to handle the back pressure of the high pressure condensate system or the high pressure system may not be able to handle the pressure generated by the pump. So we're a lot better off just taking those separate back to the boiler room to the deaerator.